good morning guys welcome back to another vlog happy friday to me happy sunday i think this video is going to come out on for you guys or happy whatever day of the week it is that you are watching this video i hope everyone is doing well i haven't picked up the camera in a while and i'm aware i have literally been the worst youtuber i think i've actually ever been in my youtubing career shall we say i keep on missing uploads and I just haven't been putting that much effort in with YouTube and socials in general. There is a story behind that. I've got a bit of a ranty update for you guys, but we'll get onto that a little bit later because we don't want to start the vlog on a negative foot. I've made a promise to myself and a promise to you guys that I'm gonna start being a little bit more proactive. I also do actually think I'm coming down with a slight cold though, so probably not the best timing however before we get into this vlog i just wanted to ask like if you could please just leave a comment down below of what videos you like watching like what 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 is everyone watching on youtube like i love to watch podcasts and a couple of like gaming streams which is really random i don't tend to watch anyone's vlogs anymore and i feel like everyone just vlogs and i'm not gonna lie my life's pretty boring right now like sometimes i do some exciting things and i feel like a vlog of me doing nothing is boring for you guys and i would like to get a little bit more creative with my videos so if anyone has any ideas for me please leave them below hopefully it will spark something in my brain but let's start off this vlog with a mini little haul as we always do. I always just keep things that I've bought just here until I can actually be bothered to put everything away, which works out well for the vlog because then I can show you. Oh, I've actually got two things in the wardrobe as well. Let me grab them. Three things in the wardrobe. So I firstly bought some new laptop charging cables. Boring, but I needed them. I then, okay. <laughs> I don't have a record player, but I have bought two records. One is actually underneath my bed right now. It's the Sabrina Carpenter, short and sweet. But I also bought Harry's House and I'm getting my vinyls off of Vinted because they're so much cheaper on Vinted and you can try and get a bargain. Like I got this for £15, which I thought was pretty good. I think online it's like 25 to £30. But I'm going to get a record player for Christmas from Aiden. So I've started collecting and Aiden was not going to buy me Harry Styles. I told him one day that I fancied Harry Styles and ever since then, Harry Styles is Aiden's worst enemy <laughs> and then I got a really cute PR parcel from Freesale that I actually can't open I mean I feel like it's a little bit late with the marketing because it's like summer and we're definitely in winter the weather has been so cold and rainy but it is the cutest PR parcel I got a little game as well so that just makes it even more fun I got a giant tote bag Look at the size of this thing. It says, just a girl who loves her greens. This is going to be so useful. And then I obviously got the greens. You can actually use my code, Clear Maisels. Just says it's spelled everywhere for 10% off. I got their greens. And then the last thing is they gave us a little cup, which is so cute. I say little cup, it's a blooming ginormous cup, but I absolutely love it. So thank you so much to Free Soul. Really appreciate it. And I did a little bit of clove shopping now i'm not meant to be doing clove shopping but i had a reason i do not now have a reason i'll tell you in a second what i was going to tell you earlier but let me show you the clothes so i made an abercrombie order you guys know i blimmin love abercrombie and hollister like the glow up they've had is just stunning so i got a new pair of jeans <laughs> I don't need any more jeans from Abercrombie, but they just fit so well. So this is the size that I got, the size, the style that I got. I actually got them in short. Now I'm five foot five, but their regulars are like slightly too long, but their shorts are slightly too short. Um, and these ones I can't really get tailored because they have like a, a flipped up cuff. So I just got them in the short and hopefully they'll be okay but i thought they were so cool and i should really send them back but i really like them so i just thought do you know what you've had a rough week just just keep them and then i bought these two bodysuits which again should send back but i always wish that i have something like these they were expensive 32 makes me feel a little bit sick but i've got a black and a white one these are absolute staples like i just know they're gonna last me forever they're such good quality so yeah, I'm just gonna keep them. I'm gonna not even think about it. I'm just, I'm just keeping it. And then finally, I bought some new shoes because my Converse, my platform Converse are just like the worst things ever. They really hurt my feet. I love them, but they hurt my feet, but I need a platform trainer. So I picked these up. 
these are adidas i do love an adidas trainer and they're black and white i don't ever wear black and white but these are what are they even called they're the Nizza platform i think they were on the sale I had to get me a seven and a half though i had to size it up but i absolutely love them and again should be sending them back but i really like them i've got a bad personality trait going on here don't i but i'm at, i'm deciding about them okay but i think that they're cute so that's everything i've collected over the last week shall we have a little bit of a story time shall we move have a story time i feel like you guys are probably gonna just want to know what's been going on let's give you a mini update so as you guys know aiden and i are looking at moving out we're saving hard we've got our eye on a flat that we really really want and basically the only boundary that we really had was my income we just wanted to make me have like a higher employed income just to make the mortgage process a lot more smoother so i've actually been looking for a new job now for two months mainly because of financial reasons and I actually applied for two jobs so I applied for one job both of them were in social media so the first job I applied for was honestly like a dream job like would have been really really good to have I got through to the final round which was really good but I obviously didn't end up getting that one and then I went for another job that funny enough was through a friend of Aiden and it was like obviously internal recommendation like i was the only person going for the job like i was promised the job from day one um and that's been going on for the last two months like chasing it was honestly such a pain to get this job going and obviously i was in a situation of like i need the job asap if i'm changing jobs so anyway i finally managed to have my call last week all went well um got offered the job and then i got a message this week to say actually no it what we're offering like the money that we've offered you already is too high as a starting salary which can i please just say it absolutely was not i was gonna have to commute into london three times a week which would have cost me five thousand pounds a year so i would have already had to take that off of my yearly salary and the amount of work they basically just want you to work for free this happens in a lot of companies they just try to take advantage of you and honestly them retract re what's the word retracting retracting that offer has done me such a favor because the last thing you want to do is join a company who aren't going to look after you like it's very rare you can find companies that look after you so anyway it was an absolute mess i'm not going to say show but you guys get what I'm trying to say. It was honestly a horrendous experience. Like I was the one chasing for the job, which already in itself should have been a red flag. Like they should have wanted to lock me down and they didn't. Um, like my experience and what they wanted was more than what most people probably have. But the spec of the job was literally like three to four people's worth of job. It was PR, content creation, strategy, analysis. Like it was so much... For such a low salary already and then the fact that they said that they think that was too high for the job i was like it's not computing especially as a london salary so anyway i was really upset about it originally but i think it was just like the build-up it had taken so long to be offered it and then a couple of days later it taken away like i was really upset about it really angry about it as well because obviously i got things moving like i bought clothes <laughs> to wear up to london um, which obviously is no issue like I, I sent a lot of stuff back and maybe I was jumping the gun a little bit by getting things in motion but yeah it was honestly just such a pain and then obviously I've spoken to my mum since you guys know that the admin company I work for I got the job through my mum and I didn't want to leave my admin job I absolutely love my admin job like it's like my bread and butter it's I want to say it's like my safe place like I absolutely love it and it's not something that consumes me too much like once a day is done the day is done for me and obviously I've got other things I am really interested in like obviously I'm doing Pilates I'm doing dance teaching still a little bit of performing like social media as well like I have other things that interest me to make the admin job really nice for me so anyway spoke to my mum and she was like would you want to work more hours for us and i was like well i didn't actually know that was an option if i knew that was an option <laughs> then i probably would have just stuck with it and not gone through all the hassle i have for the last two months update is as i'm starting full time for my admin job <laughs> that is the crux of the situation the best situation for me was to increase my hours at my admin job and then do my pilates my teaching and all that i'm happy with what i'm doing 
we're in a good situation obviously i've been with my company now for like four years three and a half nearly four years so i'm really happy that i can obviously stay where i am it looks good for my mortgage application as well like i've been in the job for years that is basically the situation but just uh i guess a bit of advice for anyone if you're having to chase a job just take the red flag as it is don't don't do what i did learn from my mistakes a company should be privileged and excited to have you you should not be begging them to reply to your emails and your text messages so yeah that's my update it is it's 9 48 i've really got to get a move on i need to film some hair content but look at the state of this i need to tidy my room today i don't know what this vlog is going to entail i've probably already waffled for about 20 minutes but all i know is i want some breakfast so I'm gonna go get that. Just filmed three hair videos. I'm trying to do six hair videos a week, like film them, and then I can obviously be pre-filmed for my Instagram. But now is the scariest part because now I have to make sure that the hairstyles actually looked good from the back. Normally I take in a little mirror, but I completely forgot. And yeah, that was not good news for me. But the first one looks like this, a little sneak peek. That one, if it looked bad from the back, it would be fine. This one I'm a bit worried about. I don't think it's gonna look. Let's have a look. Oh no, okay, cute. This is the next one. I was really worried about this one, but it actually looks so cute. And then finally, another one I'm pretty worried about because I had a little bit of trouble with it. Wait, it's cute. I didn't get very good angles of it from the back though because I was so scared. <laughs> it's like a little plait knot bun. Very, very cute. Right, happy with all three of those. So I'm just going to edit them. I might go grab some lunch because I'm bit hungry but i'm gonna edit them and then me and my mum we're gonna go out to next and evanes you guys know it's like our friday tradition and to be fair we was literally a next at the weekend but my mum needs to go pick up a parcel i can show you guys all the cute little autumn bits they've got in and then we're also gonna go to m and i haven't been into an m and in ages so hopefully my mum wants to have a little look around with me in m and as well just coming to next with my mum He's never on the vlogs anymore. And um, we're just gonna look at all of the autumn stuff. Just have a little look around. I don't think I'd ever actually decorate for autumn. I always say this, but they do have some cute stuff. Like, look how cute all of these pillows are. The little I love this. gnomey thing, a pot. I mean, it's just quite oh, odd. This is cute though. I feel like I am a mug gal. Oh, that's lovely. A cute little mug. Oh, friends cute. or family, choose your heart. Oh, a teapot. Like, these are very cute. I love these. But look. I just would never buy them. However, I have seen this. I do like a little bit of Halloween. It's like biscuit jar. I can't actually open it, but it says trick or treat. Be careful. Oh, it's really but, Yeah, we don't, we don't want to smash it's that. It's really stiff. But I do like the Halloween stuff. And I've just seen this over here, which I think are cute. Like, this is fun. I love this. Yeah, it's a bit much though, isn't it? <laughs> like, the Halloween stuff's cute. I could definitely get on board with that. It's just all, just the pumpkin stuff. Oh, I love that. I like this pillow. That is also cute. And this little ghosty pillow. How oh, sweet. Oh, that's cute. These lights. Yeah. They're nice. I've actually made the deal with Aiden that when we move out, we're going to have, like, seasonal jelly cats because we have a Christmas jelly cat. So I was like, we can get a Halloween one for autumn. We can get, like, a spring-summer one. And that's how we'll decorate. My mum just said that this was cute. And she said, you could have it in a child's room with like cotton wool balls. I'm literally the furthest away from having a child right now. You are, but I'm, I'm like very far. Box. Thinking ahead. They do have all of their Christmas scents out oh, now yeah. though. <laughs> My mum is so dramatic <laughs> when it comes to things. Oh, this smells really nice. Christmas tree. That might oh, be my new, my new scent. I, I like that. this though. It looks like that's this. Nice. It's like a little diffuse. It's only got a tree on it but they're festive spice. I've said this for years before it came became popular. This best. is the best Christmas candle by far. It is, for sure, but this is nice actually. Yeah. Although I never understand things like this, like log fire, it literally just smells like a campfire and it's just not cute. I've just made it to m and I did bring a coat out today, but it's actually kind of warm. And I was gonna wear it around m and just in case it got a bit chilly. But the weather right now, it's like, it's given autumn, but also summer. It's given September awkward weather, which is really annoying. m and is not given autumn. Literally nothing. To be fair, it's a very small section. But, yeah, it's given... Oh, actually, there's a pumpkin mug. 
That's all I can see. But let's go downstairs for the food. Just one pumpkin mug. Yeah, but I do feel like you come to M&S for the food. Okay, Thank these you. My mum's keeps looking at children's clothing, guys. I'm literally not having a child anytime soon. But you come to M&S for the food, let's be honest. So I know for a fact they've got Halloween snacks, probably a little bit of Christmas if I'm honest. I know these are expensive, but these like protein bowls, the naked chicken kebab one is honestly one of the best lunches ever. I've tried all of them. And that one is by far the best. We found a small bit of Christmas. It's all like mince pie and boring things though. These are the aisles that I came for, although it's a little bit, a little bit disappointing. We've got some cookie dough bites. Just some random sweets, nothing, nothing that's blown me away. Some, some funky eggs. And then obviously my mum's found the Christmas stuff. What's that? Some chocolates. Chocolate tea. Lovely. Mm. I do love these. It's so childish, but they're just great. These always remind me. Well, not these exact ones. You know, like the Cadbury ones. They're like Christmas tree decorations. My friend, when I was younger, they used to always put them on their family Christmas tree. We used to eat them all. Do you know what? But there's something actually really nice about these chocolate chili tortilla chips. I actually thought they'd be really good. I'm with Aiden. Oh, yes. Oh, brilliant. We're having a McDonald's car date. It's actually like one of my favorite dates. Yeah. I'm gonna tell this guy. So yeah, we're having a McDonald's car date because Aiden wants to collect Monopoly stickers. Like that is purely the only reason why we're to getting win, McDonald's. To win a hundred thousand pounds. It's probably not gonna happen though, is it? Yeah. Not with that bloody attitude, it won't. That was quick. It's like a daddy, a they just get like one thing. Maybe. You might have just got. I mean, one of the tricks used to be ask for a cup of ice when you at this window, and sometimes they give you a cup with the stickers. stickers on. They probably caught on to that. Though. Look at all those stickers. Give me all of them. Do you think they steal some if you work there? Maybe, but they might get in trouble. You never know. Take them to the toilet. What the stickers? You got a bit of Justin Bieber going on today. Yeah. You have your hair. Nice. Can you give me a bit of a neck massage? No, 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 it's pathetic stuff. Come on, go ahead. Mmm. Making me feel fuzzy. And thank you very much, mate. Yeah. Have a great evening. Thank you, bye. Bye. <laughs> we gotta go pull up. You were like, I don't think they've got any ice. Oh, I can't wait to eat. Can't wait to see what we've won. I wasn't even craving a McDonald's. Park up facing that way. It literally wasn't even great. Oh, can we go into the shade? Thanks, just like straight ahead. Thanks. Yeah, don't want to get blinded. There's your drink. My drink. What did I win? Do we do your mum's stickers? Uh, yeah, because it's technically my drink. Yeah. Mm. What did I get? Yeah, I just got like, whatever these are. I got Where are we putting them? Put them in there. Okay. Um, onto the floor. Got one a Big Mac. Wow, I'm not getting anything. I feel like all you care about in this day and age is actually the free food. Mmm, I'm sure I meant to get a dip with that. And my last one. Oh, a free hash brown. I love hash mm. browns. If you guys have never tried the chicken Big Mac, this is your sign to go and try it. I don't know when it's actually leaving McDonald's, but I've had one before and they're so good. Aiden is, he's having a bit of a pickle over there with his Philly cheesesteak stack, mm -hmm. who knows. Good morning guys, it is now the next day. It is currently, it's 8.24 and I'm already back home from Aiden's mum, but Aiden had coaching this morning and then he's got training. And yes, I'm still in my pajamas and yes, these are Christmas pajamas. I just could not be bothered to get changed this morning. I was like, I'm literally gonna come home and get ready to go out for the day, so. What is the point in getting changed? But I don't think I'm actually going to vlog today because today is my last last day off of teaching and Aiden actually doesn't have a football game today, which is so strange. And this literally never happens. Normally Aiden is off whilst I'm still teaching and I'm off when his football season starts. So the fact that we've actually got a Saturday off together is a nice change. So I think we're just going to spend the day together, obviously, once he's back from training. Me and mum are going to go out to TK Maxx this morning. Obviously I could bring you along, but I feel like I did that in the last vlog. So probably not much point in doing that but my new work week starts next week i'll be working five days a week so hopefully i can find a nice easy balance i thought we could do some morning routines some nine to five days in the lives like really just bring you guys in on 
my boring life basically but hopefully a few of you find it somewhat entertaining maybe a little bit cozy that's the vibes i'm gonna kind of go for but for now i have my coffee i'm gonna get ready for the day so i hope you all did enjoy this vlog i promise i'm gonna get so much better at uploading and i will see you all very soon with a new one bye